Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do an engraving on three millimeter wood with our Monport K40. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut this down to fit in the laser bed. Light burn is not compatible with this, so we just have to process it a little bit differently to get it to work with K40 Whisperer. <laughs> All right, so like Aaron said, we cannot use light burn. It'd be a pretty major upgrade to... Yeah, it's because of the board in it, so we'd have to replace the whole board, basically the whole control system. So maybe someday, but not yet. Uh, what we are going to use is the big gimping uh, plug-in like we've uh, used in the past uh, through GIMP, and this is the photo we pulled off the Internet, just a test photo that looked super cool, so yeah. we wanted to see how it burned. So we're running this through like it is wood. We're gonna burn on wood, which basically means it's not gonna invert it at the end. Uh, we're running it at 600 DPI, and then I'm putting in these uh, test size, just um, arbitrary, just so that it fits. Um, just so we can get an idea of how it looks. Yeah. All right, so K40 needs it to be saved as an SVG, yep. and uh, we can't save it that way from the big gimpin. Right. So yeah. we are just going to save it and then import it into uh, Inkscape. Yep. So we just export it uh, as a JPEG. All right. So here in Inkscape, uh, we just open it up basically and don't really need to do any processing in here. So what I'm going to do here is the same thing we did uh, in the past and resize the page to the actual content. That way, when we import it into K40 Whisperer, we can move it around without it being that huge page taking over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to you know, save this as and rename it. Uh, and I'll spell that incorrectly. Um, <laughs> meant to put wolf, but did not. Um, uh, and, and Inkscape saves it as an SVG, so we can import that right into K40 Whisperer. All right, so here is the actual technical specs for the Monport laser. And I'm scrolling down here to look at what actual speed and DPI this thing is capable of. And it says it's capable of 350 millimeters a second. Um, that's fast. <laughs> uh, so... You know, I want to test that when we're doing this too. Right. So I'm actually going to go with 300 millimeters a second, which we have not burned anything near that fast. Um, everything on the diode lasers has been 3,000 millimeters a minute. So this, <laughs> what 300 works out to 18,000 millimeters a minute. So we're going, we're going real fast. Um, part of it's to test whether or not it's actually going to shake the cart, um, if we can do it that fast, or you know, it's just how it's burned, so we're going to give it a shot at that.
right, so this is our initial engraving, uh, and it's pretty cool. Uh, it is harder to read the farther away you go, though. Yep. Uh, so we thought... Hard to make it out, the details. Right. Super cool up close. Yes. It's also uh, burned a little heavy. I think I should have turned it down a little bit. Oh, right. Um, it, took a, it took away some of the detail. It burned too much. Yeah, which I also think maybe DPI is a little too high. I did the DPI yeah. at 600, which might be a little bit much for this laser, just you know, testing it, dialing it in. But I think next time I'd turn it down to at least 500, maybe 400. And that could also be uh, needing to just get the exact um, distance away from the laser head. However, we can't adjust that yet because of the bed. <laughs> right. So we thought, you know, why don't we also go ahead and try a little bit of baking soda and a little borax like we've done before. Yeah, we love the, the way that turned out beforehand. Right. So um, here is our baking soda. And it's pretty muddled. I have a hard time seeing much definition unless we're really close to it. Yeah. Now, the reason that that happened, and this is what assured me that 20% <laughs> was too much. So what it's doing and why it looks so bad is because it actually burned through the top layer and is burning down into the wood. Right. And that's going to be really cool when I do it on purpose. But <laughs> right. when I did it on accident, it actually made it look bad. So it burned away what should be really dark ends up being nothing and looks bad. Right? Okay, so we turn it down to 10% before we did the borax. And as before, I think uh, by far our favorite, uh, the detail in it's amazing. Even the farther back you go, you can still, it's still readable. Absolutely, yeah. Borax has always been our favorite. Yeah. Uh, get your most rich blacks. Um, it, it looks incredible. It really does. Details super, super good. Um, the detail's great in the other one. It's just not really pops yeah with borax so baking soda is fun to play around with it'll get you darker than normal but it is not going to do what borax can do right so really my key takeaways in this is that borax is the best <laughs> yeah. you know so it if just we're just going to engrave a photo and we want it to sit on top uh use borax yeah yeah um, need to adjust the DPI down a bit. The settings that it said the 1200 is probably absolute perfect distance, perfect everything, perfect focal point. Um, that's just not going to be realistic most of the time. Um, so turning down the DPI is good because otherwise there's too much in there and that will muddy your picture. Hmm. So backing it off a bit, having a little bit less detail ends up showing more detail. So we were a little worried about uh, not being able to use light burn. Yeah, I think that's my one biggest turnoff of going into K40. Was but is that just because we're used to using light burn? It is. Yeah, it's or, absolutely used okay. because of that. And and that was, I mean, that was why I was hesitant. Mm -hmm. But K40 Whisper, I didn't know that it would be this easy to do stuff. Um, I mean, it took us a few extra steps. A few extra steps. Yeah. But. Absolutely. But I mean, we got the same result. Right. In the end. So don't let uh, your fear of not being able to use light burn stop you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, K40 Whisper is actually pretty intuitive. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you next time.